You guys asked for more? Well, I got more for you. What kind of consumer goods are you guys using in your house right now? Is it the stuff that everyone uses? And how many of you guys are taking a close look at those labels, reading what's actually said on them? Is everything full of poison, toxic ingredients? Keep out of reach of children? Use gloves and a mask if you're using it? Epic Health just came out with this article, dangerous levels of toxins found in General Mills loaded cereal. That's one of the biggest cereal brands out there. Look folks, I hope you guys are paying and some serious attention. Otherwise, you're probably gonna be killing over a little bit faster than the rest of us. 99% of people out there just don't realize that we're getting hit from all sides. Boy, do we got a lot more good information for you today. Gonna knock your socks off. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you wanna know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. So this information stems off of a couple videos that I did. Millions of people wanna be aware of this, but let me add, make sure that notification bell's still on and make sure you're still subscribed because when I put stuff like this out, people magically get unsubscribed and I get emails because I read those emails you guys send me that says I didn't get my notification and I was mysteriously unsubscribed. Well, that's what happens when I give you goodies like this. So help the channel out if you appreciate this information with a like and double check that subscribe. So for those of you that are returning, bear with me for 60 seconds while I give these guys a 60 second recap and then we'll get into some of this new crazy information I just dug up. So unless you just don't care and you want to go stick your head in the sand, pretend nothing crazy is going on, don't care about your health, don't care about what's going on. The importance to pay attention has never been more important. And I'm telling you guys, the more I research, the more I find. It's getting absolutely insane. For example, a bag of chips. Can you believe it? I put a video out on the shorts feed just the other day. I know all of you guys don't watch shorts. So let me show it to you. It takes 60 seconds. So wait a minute. We're living in a time where we go to the store, much like Walmart, and buy a bag of chips with a warning label on the back of the bag of chips, much like a pack of cigarettes. Warning could cause birth defects, could cause cancer, bioengineered ingredients, most all consumer goods owned by the upper umbrella, BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard, trying to control the world and monopolize all consumer goods. That's right, bags of chips, guys, with warnings like that. Have any of you paid attention to all the cancer-causing warnings on the back of stuff you guys use on a regular basis? And like I mentioned in that short, if you're wanting to get away from all of that garbage, vote with your dollars. Supporting family-owned, non-toxic stuff you can trust and 100% American-made. Stuff that you spend money on every single month already. Like I said, we can help you get away from all that garbage and what that garbage supports. Link in the description and pinned comment for a free tour of the store. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the labels on stuff in stores is getting worse and worse by the day. I was just sent this article. Epic Health, dangerous levels of toxins found in General Mills. Loaded cereal report. Testing results obtained by moms across America. Thank you, moms. This shows toxic heavy metals, glyphosate, and pesticides in popular breakfast cereal. Most people have no idea and they're buying this every single week. Pay attention, guys. A new report raising concerns over General Mills. Guys, this is a huge, huge cereal company. I'd say like 50% of the cereals on the shelf are owned by this company. A new cereal line after testing revealed that Trix loaded. Cereal is literally loaded with high levels of heavy metals and agrochemicals. Look, it's got all the data. You guys research this article for yourself. Let me keep going. It also says pesticides found in General Mills tricks loaded cereal. You need some examples? Let me rattle them off. Imazilil 1, Mectoazole 1, Paraclotrobin 1, Primethanil 1, Profexfel 1, Tabucanozole 1. Probably didn't pronounce any of that, but I'm sure I don't need to for you guys to get the point. Shoot, I'll give you one example. Piperolinophil butoxide PBO, a man-made pesticide synergist that enhances the potency 
of certain pesticides designed to kill insects. EPA classifies PBO as a possible human carcinogen. Look, this is why I make these videos because it's hard for people to do all this research. So I do the research for you to make it a little bit easier on you. Look, more recent animal model studies suggest that PBO exposure can cause neurodevelopmental abnormalities in utero and liver cancer, a 2021 study published in Reproductive Toxicology found PBO may cause male infertility and reproductive toxicity. I could bore you with facts all day long. Reading down, heavy metals exceed EPA allowable levels. In this study, it also says scientists also detected measurable levels of aluminum, cadmium, lead and arsenic in both samples of Trix loaded cereal that in some cases far exceed the EPA allowable levels of drinking water. What are people consuming these days? Also, Trix loaded exposes children to toxic glyphosate, key active ingredient in Roundup. That's a weed killer, folks. Lots of information if you want to deep dive that. They've got all the figures, what they found, allowable amounts of carcinogens that's supposed to be in the cereal. Do yourself a favor. If you need to keep researching that, check that article out. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, I've shown you clips just like this one. I was just sent this one. U.S. version of ingredients versus Germany version of ingredients. Can you guys see a difference there? Just take a good look at all of those added ingredients compared to what Germany puts into theirs. So they're either lying to you over in Germany or like we've checked out in some other places, they just don't allow this stuff in their ingredients, in their products, but somehow it's allowed in America. You guys do your due diligence and look at some comparisons with some European country labels compared to ours, you might be shocked. Got a lot of people doing more research these days and reacting just like this gal is. I wanna thank Whole Foods for their choices. I've been spending $10,000 on their sourdough bread, thinking that it was the right food choice for my family. I go to the bakery, I put it in their little bread cutter, I cut it, watch it, slip it into the bag, put the sticker on it. Never really read the sticker. I, I got wheat, barley, that's as far as I got. Looked at it today, bioengineering bioengineer ingredients. I just wanna say a big F you to Whole Foods. This is the last time I'm shopping there, I'm done. Okay, you couldn't just spend a dollar more maybe and just not get the cancer paint thinner ingredients. It's gonna take more work to find all those same things that you're used to buying without bioengineered ingredients. I've done deep dives on other videos about bioengineered ingredients. Basically, then you have no idea what that bioengineered ingredient entails. So think about that. Who owns the brand? Do you like what they stand for? Do they put money and profit over your health and when you think about bioengineered line item on the ingredients just know that they don't have to explain to you what the heck that is <laughs> let's keep going ever heard of obesogens how toxins can make you fat another quandary why so many people in america compared to other places have a problem with weight could it be all the toxins we intake in dawn dish soap Tide. A lot of stuff in the stuff that you use on a daily basis. On this article, The Good Inside, obesogens, how toxins can make you fat. Diet and exercise aren't only factors you have to worry about when achieving a healthy weight. Studies have found that a class of toxins called obesogens can cause you to pack on the pounds. Anybody out there could afford to lose a couple pounds? How obesogens make you fat. Obesogen chemicals are found in everyday items like plastics, beauty products, fur Furniture. Research suggests that obesogens can trigger weight gain because they can slow your metabolism, make you feel hungry more often, cause you to crave unhealthy foods, increase the size and production of fat cells. The worst obesogens to avoid. Well, it's impossible to avoid all toxins, but taking steps to reduce your exposure to plastic, food packaging, and chemicals, and household products will help. BPAs and BPS in plastic water bottles and food packaging and receipts Phthalates and vinyl flooring cosmetics and food packaging. Flame retardants and upholstery carpets and mattresses. PFOA and non-stick cookware and microwave popcorn. And I've told you before, but maybe you need to hear it from a farmer. Potassium bromate. Banned in other countries, but legal in the United States. Hey, this is a farm boy. We're going to talk about potassium bromate. It's in your food. It's been around since 1914. But when our government 
passed the Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act in 1938. They grandfathered in potassium bromate or bromated flour. No one put a stop to it then. It's a known carcinogen, or suspected of being a known carcinogen anyway. According to FDR, when he signed it in, all those things was gonna change in the American diet. I'm not too sure how I feel about what they done or not. But in season two, episode 21 of the TV show Fringe, a super scientist named Walter, he had mental problems and he was alone in a grocery store and started reading food labels and he had a mental breakdown. He started screaming about potassium bromate. That's what led to this study. He said that potassium bromate was a poison and he said it's known to cause renal cell tumors and mesothelium, mes mesothelias, theliums of the peritoneum, which is your stomach cavity. It's the sac that holds all your organs in place, right? Well, that's worth looking into. So I looked into it and here's what I come up with. According to the NIH, they specifically state that potassium bromate, when consumed, it can cause chronic intoxications that have been linked to several renal and non-renal, that'd be the mesotheliomas, tumors. Several renal and non-renal tumors in the body. Acute intoxicate, intoxication in humans can result in renal failure, neuropathological disor disorders, and thrombocytopenia, which is low platelets. Makes red small, red, uh, small red blood cells. The fact of the matter is, that it's been going on since 1914. An act was presented against that type of material in 1938. But the FDA claims that since 1991, they've been encouraging all people who use these products to stop using them rather than mandate it. The curious thing is for me, is it looks like to me that television likes to humiliate us and laugh about all the torturous things they're doing to the American people. That's what I got out of it. That's what I'm seeing. There's no need to have this. But so that you can take a good look for yourself to find out, it has been known or has been used in at least the past by companies like Pillsbury, Panera, Perfect Bread, Harvest Gold, and Emo's P uh, Pepperoni Pizza. And it's still found today in bagels, breads, crackers, donuts, English muffins, pastries, pizza crust and dough, pretzels, rolls, tortillas, and waffle cones. Yep, since 1914. What are we gonna do? This is a farm boy. They're laughing at us. What are we gonna do? We need to pay more attention. We need to do our research. We need to be aware, and we need to take advantage of non-toxic, family-owned businesses that have our health in their best interest, not money. Look guys, we see ingredients labels with 10 times the amount of ingredients 90 years ago, because 90 years ago, it was just real food. That was it. They're pumping us full of a lot of stuff. Anybody eat cheese? This might be something worth looking into. Defenders reports 90% of all cheese, cheese manifs sold in mainstream grocery stores are owned by Pfizer. That might be one worth looking into. Shoot, let's look into it. Organic Consumer Association, genetically modified ingredients in most US cheeses. Just at a glance, traditionally cheese was made with just four ingredients, milk, salt, starter, culture, and animal rennet. It goes on to say what rennet is. Then it says, today there are four types of rennet used in cheese making industries animal rennet, vegetable rennet, and microbial rennet, and the genetically modified version called FPC. Watch for that on the label. Fermentation produced chymosin or chymosin, made by old Pfizer group. Bioengineered FPC was granted generally regarded as safe GRAS status, which exempted for old Pfizer. So how is old Pfizer Eto exempt from the pre-approval requirements that apply to other new food additives? Studies have detailed concerns about safety. Here's the problem. 
As estimated, 90% of North American cheese is made with FPC rennet. At the ingredients label, do not distinguish between bioengineered rennet and the original animal-based type of consumers have no way of knowing what they're eating. This is a perfect example of why when you go to the store and you read the label, gotta do extended research. This is why I'm an advocate of only shopping from family-owned businesses that have integrity and not owned and operated by the monopoly because folks they're all connected if you're shopping and supporting the wrong people you're not gonna know news break 11 shampoo brands to avoid look guys some of this stuff is the worst makeup brands and shampoo and conditioner brands in the world we're talking about leading to irritation of the skin and other issues this report says Tresemme, parent company unilever common customer complaints hair loss allergic reactions skin and scalp irritations thought you were cleaning your hair you might just have a scalp irritant also listed pantene parent company Procter and Gamble common customer complaints product buildup filled with chemicals and unnatural ingredients you guys got good options out there but when you go to the big stores you feel like you only got those options which are all owned by the same people and why have all of the harsh ingredients head and shoulders I bet you some of you guys are using that the parent company is Procter and Gamble common customer complaints are skin irritation hair discoloration dry scalp and hair loss they're saying it's a damaging product Maui brand that sounds nice but the parent company is Johnson & Johnson with common customer complaints complaints of hair loss and product buildup. You guys want to keep your hair? Now look, they go into a lots of details if you guys want to read on on this, but I'm just read, I'm rattling them off. OGX, parent company, Johnson & Johnson, common customer complaints, hair loss, scalp irritation, and allergic reactions. Sounds good, right? DMDM, hydration lawsuit. Apparently they've got a lawsuit going on for hair loss. It also says this DMDM hydrination, the culprit ingredient that apparently can cause a variety of issues from allergic contact, dermatitis, Dermatitis, hair loss, and higher risk of cancer? Is it really worth it? Herbal Essence, I know a lot of you've heard of that one. Parent company, Procter & Gamble. Surprise, surprise. Common customer complaints filled with harsh chemicals and false advertising. Anybody excited about synthetic chemicals? Garnier. Uh, parent company L'Oreal, common customer complaints, dry hair and irritation. Have I listed any of the ones that you guys use yet? Dove, I know y'all have heard of that one. Parent company, Unilever. Common customer complaints, irritation, dry hair, product buildup. Maybe some of you guys picked Aussie. Aussie, parent company, Procter & Gamble. Common customer complaints, hair loss, toxic ingredients, and allergens. Toxic ingredients, folks. Some of you probably are like, nah, I use Suave. Suave, Suave. Parent company, Unilever. Common customer complaints, dry, brittle hair, dermatitis, hair loss, scalp irritation. Anybody heard of formaldehyde? Yeah, if you use Dawn dish soap, you might want to look that one up. How about Aveda? Okay, parent company, Estee Lauder, and the common customer complaints, dry hair, overpowering fragrance, and expensive. I know some of you out there are not a big fan of strong artificial fragrances. I could go all day long, and I will. If you guys tell me you want more, I've got lists and lists and lists. But look, you might question, global cancer phenomenon, it's not just America. UK, Japan, Southern Africa, and Australia are among dozens of countries suffering mysteries spikes of all different kinds of tumors in young people. Do you guys see that America has the biggest problem with this? I sincerely want to help you. People don't like the problem. Well, you need to make a change. You need to switch where you're buying stuff and who you're supporting. Myself, my wife, and a few people from our community can help you guys switch over to safe stuff. American made non-toxic and yes, supporting family owned business. That's not under the evil thumb, if not us. Let me know that you guys want more of this stuff. I'll keep educating you, bringing you guys awareness so you guys can do more research to help you guys find safe sources. We can help you with a lot of consumer goods that you guys are already spending your money on month to month. But like I said, it's not the only option. As long as you guys do your research, y'all can avoid a lot of this bad stuff. Again, this is very important stuff. Please share it out. Hit the like button if you found value. Let me know if you want more and I will keep it coming. Stay safe out there guys and I'll see you on the next one.